Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make a simple doorway. So go ahead and launch right in. And I'm going to work off the map file I've created in the last video. So go to file in the menu bar and click open and choose ep4.map. If you don't have the map, um, there's a link to it below the video and also in the forum post. So yeah, grab that, drop it into your wolf cam base quickly and load it up. And once you've got the map open, um, save the map to a new file so we won't overwrite any of the old stuff. And save it to ep5.map or whatever you like. And um, what you want to do is um, create a door that consists of two parts. With one part opening to the left and one part opening to the right when you stand in front of it. So go ahead and create a new brush and make it fit into this hallway we've got between our two rooms. Um, once the brush is created, click the cork button in the icon bar to cover the, the whole brush with cork. So faces that can't actually be seen in game aren't rendered by the engine. So yeah, once you've done that, be sure to convert the brush to detail by hitting Ctrl and M. And to see if it worked, hit Ctrl and D to toggle the filter for detail brushes. And as you can see, you've successfully created, uh, converted this brush to detail. And what I want is, I want this part of our doorway to have a small trim here so it separates itself a bit from the other part of the doorway. So what I want to do is scale this a bit and copy it using the spacebar and make a new small trim brush here. And once I've done with that I can go ahead and texture this part of our doorway. Hit Control, Shift and Alt to um, select the surfaces of this part of our doorway and give it any texture you like. I'm going to go for cobalt gray. It escapes to deselect everything. Select the rest of the doorway as well and texture it. I'm going to give it the clay floor texture. And now that we've got the one part of our doorway created, we can go ahead and select everything of it, hit space to copy it and use the y-axis flip to arrange the other part of our doorway. And now that we've got the brushes for our doorway created, we can go ahead and convert those brushes to be a real doorway. So select either part of um, the doorway, one after another, and right click to bring up the entity menu and navigate to the function submenu. And once you've arrived, um, select function underscore door and what is this is going to do now is create those as a convert those two brushes to be um, a door. So if you bring up the entity inspector, you can see those brushes now of the class name function underscore door. So repeat this step for the other part of our door as well. Right click, go to the functions menu, and select function door. Alright, so what we got to do next is tell those parts of our door where we want them to move when you stand in front of them. So if I select this, obviously if we stand in front of it, we want it to move to this direction. So which would be this direction at the top view. And to do this we got to, to give the door an angle key. So if you bring up the entity inspector using end, um, you have to make a new key called angle and give it the value of 270 simply because we want um, this door to move down and the angles depend on the top view. You got 0 degrees here on the right, 90 degrees here at the top, uh, 180 degrees here on the left and 270 down here and then 0 again. So if you want this to move down we give it an angle of 270 degrees. Alright, so yeah, then we get to do the same thing for the other part of our doorway as well, just that this time we want um, the brushes to move up here and not to this direction, but to this direction. So what we got to do is give it a different angle key, and since we got 270 degrees down here, obviously, there are 90 degrees here at the top, so 
and uh, 90 degrees for the enter key and hit enter. So if you would compile this now, there would two it would be two things that you most likely wouldn't like. The first thing would be that the door would open really slow, and the other thing would be that if you shoot um, the right part of the door with your machine gun, for example, the right part will open, but the left part won't, which would be pretty strange, obviously. So um, to fix this, select both parts of our doorway and team them up by giving them, and giving them a new key called team and giving your team any name you like and I'm just going to call it doors one because you know this is my first team of doors um, so yeah hit enter to connect those two parts of the doorway so they will open at the same time and if one opens the other will open as well um, yeah and the last thing we want to do is change the speed if you bring up the entity inspector again pressing N you can see here in the entity description there's the speed key explained and it says it determines how fast the door moves and the default value is around 200 I think it's units per second but I'm not exactly sure so what I want to do is change the speed so enter the speed key and give it a value of 500 alright and that's it uh, pretty much already for making our doorway um, go to the BSP menu to compile the map after you've saved it and select the first test option to compile the map and once you're done with compiling you can start Wolfcam to check out the map so I bring up the console and then the map EP5 to load up the map Alright, and as you can see now, here in the hallway, there's our new door, and if you walk beneath it, it will open automatically. And if you shoot the right part of it, you see the left part opens as well, and if you shoot the left part, the right part will open. So that's because we've teamed up those doors. So there's an internal connection between them, and they, you know, kind of depend on each other. Alright then, so much for... Um, creating a simple door. If you got any questions regarding this, feel free to comment on the YouTube video or ask on the forums. And the next video, I'm most likely going to cover, you know, making a simple pool of water or a simple pool of lava, you know, liquids in general. All right. Until then, goodbye.